Hello, and welcome to this edition of Reston Today. I'm your host, Andy Siegel. Thank you for joining us. In today's program, we'll get an update on the proposal for a community indoor recreational facility. We'll learn about opportunities to get involved in one of Reston's major summer events, the Reston Festival. Finally, in today's nature tip, we'll find out why there are purple triangular boxes hanging from some of our Reston trees. Stay tuned. What do you think about the idea of having a year-round recreational facility for the Reston community? That's the question that the board will be asking during a series of community district listening meetings. Please plan to attend the one in your area. The community meeting in the North Point District will be held Tuesday, June 30th from 7 to 9 in the evening. The location will be the cafeteria of the Armstrong Elementary School. That's located at 11900 Lake Newport Road. District Representative Frank Lynch will be the host. The Lake and Tall Oaks Community Meeting will be held on Thursday, July 9th from 7 to 9 in the evening. This meeting will be in the cafeteria of Lake Ann Elementary School. The address is 11510 North Shore Drive. Robin Smyers, RA President and Lake Ann District Representative will be your host. The South Lake Session will be held on Tuesday, July 21st from 7 to 8.30 in the evening at the Sunset Hills Montessori School Assembly Room. That address is 11800 Ridge Heights Road. This gathering will be hosted by Kathleen Driscoll McKee, the RA Vice President and District Representative. Again, you are encouraged to attend the meeting for your district. For more information, please log on to the RA website at www.reston.org and click on Indoor Rec Center. You're looking at photos of one of the largest volunteer efforts in the Reston community, Deloitte Impact Day. Deloitte volunteers participate in more than 700 projects in more than 70 different communities nationwide. Some of these are one-day projects, while many others are kickoff celebrations or continuations of longer-term endeavors. You might call all the work volunteers completed in May and June are spring cleaning. In addition to Deloitte, many more volunteers removed pounds of trash and debris from our lakes. RA appreciates all the hard work. If you want to volunteer in Reston, there are plenty of opportunities that suit almost any interest. Volunteer coordinator Ha Brock is here to tell us more. Is your business or corporation looking for a team building project? Then Reston Association is the place to be. We are eager to form partnerships with businesses and corporations in the Reston area. We have a variety of projects that businesses can get involved in. Some of the opportunities would be to co-sponsor an event with the Reston Association, like the Reston Festival, join our Weed Warriors program, or participate in a service project in our natural areas. To find out how you can get involved in your community, please visit the Reston Association website. Have you ever noticed these rather large purple boxes hanging from some of our Reston trees? Claudia Thompson Deal is here to explain in this month's Nature Tip. Fairfax County's Pest Division has hired uh, folks to put 2,000 of these purple monitoring devices spread out throughout the county. And inside this purple cardboard box is the scent of an ash tree, and it's covered with a sticky substance to attract the uh, emerald ash borer and it's used to monitor the population. The emerald ash borer is an example of an invasive exotic pest, just like the gypsy moth that I'm sure you're very familiar with. It's spread in a couple of ways. One way it's spread is through nursery stock, and um, people can buy ash trees at one nursery and t take them throughout the country, and that's how it's spread. Another way is the larva can even be found in wood chips and it can be found in firewood. If you'd like more information on the Emerald Ash Borer, take a look at the Reston Association website. Now that summer's here, remember to take advantage of your RA pool and tennis passes. And get out and enjoy the many trails and bike paths the Reston community has to offer. And again, thank you for joining us for this edition of Reston Today. Goodbye.